So this is just a quick update for the audio cube. It is currently in cube form, which I am very pleased with. It's also very fragile, so unfortunately there's no rolling this thing at the moment because we've got these, um, you can probably see it on the camera, but there are some jumper wires here where I've um, lifted off the tracks accidentally with the soldering iron because this board is milled, there's no solder mask on there to protect the tracks. Um, and I've lifted up the tracks on some of these uh, and it means I've had to put jumper wires on there and it's made it very fragile. So they've broken off a number of times. So there's literally, this pin, this one here solders directly to the pin of this chip. So there's no messing around with that one anymore. So it's sort of like last chance saloon on this chip here. So once I get this reprinted, it will be um, all right to roll. But at the moment it does work. So I can demonstrate some of the functions. So if I press a button here, it will give us some awful blooming noise, and um, but it will respond to this ADXL345. So it'll play music too, and it will also play my voice. It's a lot quieter than it should be. I've turned the volume down a little bit for this video. So let's just turn that off. So it responds to the ADXL345, so reading that is fine. I get a lot of um, serial output from this when, I'm, when I've got it plugged into another board into my PC, and it works perfectly well. There's nothing, there's no, I don't even get as much noise as when I'm using it on a breadboard, so I'm, I'm quite happy. Uh, well, that's it really. That, it's just, um, I just wanted to show you that all the parts work together. So the power board is, as it has enough juice to power everything. And the amplifier board works perfectly as well. That's using an LM4861, which is a, is a new chip to me, but it's, it's quite a nice little lamp. All right, thanks a lot for watching.